Thanks for watching this video. Today I want to show you how you can play more like Ronaldo. So basic dribbling, running with the ball, you want to touch the ball with the outside of your toe. Okay, that's the most natural. It's going to allow you to have the most control at top speed. So as you're dribbling, you should be little touches. Typically, if you're toe. Okay, and you can go faster. But as you're dribbling from wispy, it should be with the outside of your boot or your toe. And the best way to practice that is just put two cones out like that. Try to go as fast as you can. If you want to beat more players, get in the habit of making one move and then bursting into space. Sometimes you don't even need a move. You just need a quick change of direction, quick change of speed to get past the defender. Okay, so two moves we're not as famous for. Uh, obviously, the step overs. Okay, so you can do a single step over or a double step over. Just make sure that you do it quickly, and the best way to do that, to get comfortable doing that, is practice. Or go at a defender if you have a teammate. The second move is the Ronaldo Shock. This is great for changing direction. Say I'm going this way and I want to end up going that way and make the defender continue going this way. I'm just touching in that direction and then behind my leg I'm dropping in the other direction. Okay, so again, if you want to get good, practice makes perfect. Alright, so I want to talk about hold up play. So a lot of times, if a ball is played into a striker here, his tendency is to turn. And yes, if you can turn as the ball is coming to you, there's space, you can turn with your first touch, I encourage you to do so. But you must be aware of when is the right time to play simple, to play the ball back, to hold up the play, okay? So the ball comes into your feet, and you know you're surrounded by players, you're not gonna keep it on. It's very important that you keep this ball so take a good touch, and you're just looking to play the ball back into the supporting player, and then you're looking to spin, hopefully get a ball over the top or a through ball into space that you can attack, okay? So when the space is on, when you have space, if you have space, you know there's space because you've looked over your shoulder, then yes, you can receive and take your first touch into space right away, attack the goal. But if you're receiving the ball and you know defenders are tight on you, there's not much space, you have to hold this ball up. Take one touch back to your supporting player or two touch, one to control and one to pass and then we can play that ball into space for you making that run or one of your other attackers. Another habit I want you to take from Ronaldo is trying to get the ball and cut inside as much as possible to get a shot off because that's where the net is and if you're always taking the defender down the line just because you're a winger you're not going to get as many goals as you should. So when you have the ball in the wing, want to come inside as much as possible. Obviously, you have to determine when there's no space or there's too many defenders in there or when you should pass the ball. But as much as you can, try to cut inside to get a shot on goal. Imagine I'm coming down the line, adding a defender, remember this little touch is on the outside of the foot. When I get here and I want to beat the defender, I want to see a big change of direction. So really drop your shoulder and make sure you get a big touch out of your feet, okay? Here, I'm going to settle myself. You have the chance to shoot, I want you to think about proper shooting technique. So think about Ronaldo. What does he look like when he's shooting? Foot is really flexed, toes are down, ankles long, case not loose, it's not weak. Body's over the ball. You need good contact through the center of the ball, following through towards his target. Uh, let's say the other team is on the ball and our team happens to win possession of the ball. Okay, Ronaldo's out here. He's calling for the ball. He wants the ball early. Okay, we're trying to attack. So a counterattack, you're trying to get the ball forward as quickly as possible. And then we want to get numbers forward. Okay, so strikers getting forward, wingers getting forward, midfielders again forward to support. Okay, it's very important if you want to counterattack quickly and you don't have space to run. If the space is on there to run with the ball, yes, go with it quickly but you're gonna be more effective if you're relying on passing and moving. Okay, so let's say the ball is won. Let's say we're all back here. The ball is won by our center half. He gets on the ball, plays it out wide. Ronaldo's on the ball. 
Defender comes to close him down. He plays that ball quickly. We're getting numbers forward. Everyone's making runs. Ball's played here. Ronaldo's not done. He's making that run to get in the box and hopefully get on the end of a tap in and put it in net, okay? But when you're on the counterattack, we just won. Their numbers are committed forward. We want to get that ball up the field quickly. Then we want to move it quickly. One, two, okay, the ball comes back across. Boom, we might make another run in here. Play across the box. I know this guy was offside. But in a real game, he would have been smart enough to stay on side, okay? But the point I'm getting at there is counterattacking with speed, passing the ball, moving into space with purpose, and getting in the box to get your easy tapping goals.